Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sarek, and welcome back to Last Generic Survival. So, today we're gonna be working on the base because it's been like this here for quite a while. I'm not really gonna move around the chest, but I would love to upgrade these chests as, check this out, for example, inside of this chest, I can store 70 items, and till this day, people keep asking me, Sarek, how do you store 70 items in one slot? I can only store 20. So, in order to upgrade your racks, like select whatever rack, and, uh... Uh, I'm just trying to find a better rack here. For example, this one, right? And this one I can already store 25 items. So you can click on the top right arrow here. And as you can see, now we'll be able to upgrade the cell capacity to plus 10. So I'll be able to store 30 items. And you can keep up upgrading those chests till level 11. And then you'll be able to store 70 items here. So I'd love to upgrade some of these chests. I've already upgraded this chest to max. I have this chest at max. I have this chest at max here. So I do have a couple of chests that are at max, but that's not enough. I'd love to perhaps upgrade this chest. That way I'll be able to store even more food because for now the food is the best way. Oh, I'm already, uh, I'm, I'm, I've already started upgrading this chest. So I can already store here 30 items. So yeah, that's what we'll be doing. But to do that, as you saw, we need to get ash planks and I don't really have a lot of ash planks. So for example, over here, I have only like three logs. And if I'm not mistaken, we can click on this thing and I can see that I have only 31 ash planks. So today we're going to hit the swamp location and we're gonna try to get some more ash blanks but before we do this let's not forget about our other base right about our settlement so how about we get some iron let's get some planks and let's go to the settlement and let's replenish all of the workbenches because little by little we are also working on that settlement because who knows when the suburbs will be released to the game as for those who don't know, when you upgrade, when you level up your, like, last watchtower, like your watchtower in the swamp location, right? When you repair everything there, the you do unlock the suburbs, so maybe one day we will unlock those suburbs. But again, for me to even see them on the map, I need to work on the settlement as we need some special resources there. So welcome once again to those that have just joined the stream. Welcome, welcome. Glad to see all of you here. Hopefully having a fantastic day. And to those that are watching this live stream after it's over, then head to the pinned comments down below. There you can find timestamps and you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker. Once again, welcome to those that have just joined, but see you all over here. And we're gonna work on, on the base right now. Swamp, it says Matthew Spellman, yes indeed. Yo Rudy, welcome, welcome, good luck. And welcome to everybody that has just joined. Hopefully you're having a great day. Sadly, we did not get any new sneak peeks. Uh, for the new update or anything. It's already December 9th. I mean, we still need to wait maybe like about 15 days till the next update. I would guess. Wait, is this thing still working? Okay, this thing is still gonna work for an entire hour. That's awesome. That is actually great. Wait, I came here to drop some wood. So how about I drop some wood here? How about I replenish this thing over here. And actually, there's nothing else I can do. That's it. We can just skedaddle from this place. The stuff is cooking. Let's get out of here. I guess we will have to wait. Uh, we will have it right before Christmas. I mean, I mean, Christmas is just around the corner, like 16 something, 15 days, right? Which is like absolutely crazy. Maybe it's even sooner, maybe in like 15 days. Whatever. In like two weeks, right? Let's say a little bit over than two weeks. It just snuck up on us. Okay, let's deal with this task. We will have to clear the third floor and get five iron hatchets. So I guess we will do this, but before we do that, let's get some hatchets and let's go to the swamp location because we haven't been there in a really long time. So I'm kind of excited to go there. Uh, I need to definitely farm there for quite a bit. Uh, I'm probably gonna break some of these hatchets. There we go. That'll be like the smartest thing to do. I don't know how much and how many ash logs I'll get, but we will see. When is the commune event coming back, aka the best event? I have no idea when the commune event is coming back. Hopefully never. That's what I'll say about the commune event. Hopefully it's never coming back. Almost happy Cyrix 10 birthday. 10 birthday? You mean for the channel? Perhaps. Happy Cyrix birthday. Uh, do I have any fuel in my ATV? Oh my god, sir, you got the ATV. Yes, the sad part is that, look at this, we can only store four items instead of eight inside of this ATV, which is kind of ridiculous, if you ask me. Okay, let's add a little bit of fuel. We're gonna get an entire stack. And, uh, what else am I gonna get? Why do I have another set of armor in the ATV? That thing doesn't make any sense, does it? It totally does not make any sense. So let's drop that stuff back. 
in the base. Last generate logic, absolutely. We can store more stuff in the chopper than here in the ATV, which is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, nothing in these chests. Yikes. Uh, no space cement. Oh, I'm gonna get another stack of food. And usually for the swamp location, I get flare guns. Do I have any flare guns? Oh, yes, we do. So let's take like three flare guns. That should be enough. Let's get like an AK. Why not? Let's get an Uzi. Why not? And uh, I think I'm ready-ish. There we go. Let's also get a little bit of food, right? And let's get that all. Where's my ghillie suit, ladies and gentlemen? Did you take it? Take it! You took my ghillie suit. Didn't you? Okay, there we go. There's my ghillie suit. For a second, I panicked. But I have it, so let's skedaddle. Let's skedaddle, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there's another zombie. It's the second zombie that I killed today. But it is what it is. So, guys, after that live stream where I tried PvP in Last Earth, has anybody else... Why am I going on the chopper when we have to go on the ATV? I don't know. So has any of you tried going and doing PvP? I mean, to do that PvP, you also have to have the good gear. To get that good gear, you have to be an expert and have no life. So, I mean, yeah, probably nobody even tried that PvP. Because it's so stupid. Some people still try to defend it being like, oh, you just like don't know how to play PvP. It's garbage. If I don't know how to play the PvP, I'm glad I don't want to know how to play that PvP thing because it's it's just trash. It's just so bad that it's embarrassing. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like that PvP part is embarrassing for last on Earth. Like, there we go, I'll just say it. It is very embarrassing. But uh, it is what it is. Let's go to the swamp forest, ladies and gentlemen. Let's up in. And let's do it. I don't like PvP. It's boring. I wouldn't describe it boring. PvP is everything but boring, but it is just bad. It's just very bad. I missed the live stream. Uh, I missed the last live stream. I'll watch it tomorrow. What's the thing you're talking about? Sorry, about the PvP in last center. You're not aware of PvP? Excuse me? No, not the crater. It looks goop. Yeah, the crater is bad. Like, it is fun to watch somebody waste armor, but it's just bad. It is just completely, completely goop. However, on the other side, speaking of goop, we are in a kind of swampy slash goopy place. In the swamp location, ladies and gentlemen. And we are in the swampy place. We are in the swamp location. There we go. Last and it doesn't feel embarrassment, says the A. That's kind of true. It is about right. However, I wanted to start a new series today on the channel. I wanted to start uh, Ark Survival Ascended. However, it's already pretty late. So there's that. But I expect new Ark Survival Ascended series during live streams. For videos, I think we'll be checking out Miss Survival. So we'll see, ladies and gents. We'll see. Oh no, I don't want to go and fight the clump of zombies over there. I got back to the game three days ago because of you, says MX Gang. I feel sorry for you, or I'm happy for you, like whichever, whichever one you prefer. That's good or that's bad. I don't know. That's great. You should make a Rust video. I've made a few Rust videos already. I've spent quite a bit of time on the last Rust video and. Uh, yeah, I liked it. I like to make more videos like that, but we'll see. Yeah, Miss Survival missed you playing that game. Yeah, I mean, the game's been updating. Recently, it has gotten some more updates, so I think I'll be checking that out. So I will be checking out more Miss Survival. To those that have just joined, we are currently in the swamp location chopping down trees. Because why not? What else are we going to do? It's time for us to upgrade the base. Let's get this. 
I'm happy I feel the game got better, to be honest, as MX King. I mean, it depends on when you left it. If you left it a year ago, it's exactly the same game as it's been. It's almost exactly the same game as it's been six years ago, so... There is that. 100-day Minecraft Hardcore when... I mean, there are so many videos on YouTube with those 100-day... I played 100-day X and Y game. I thought about it, obviously, but I don't know if that thing will happen. Perhaps one day... Oh, no, somebody. Flash, come back here, Flash. Okay, we got Flash. Do you have any wood? Nothing! Useless. Wasted bullets. Just came back to last energy. Should I do the quest already? What quests? Yes, sure. I forgot to collect some loot I got from the fair inside the shelf. Will the loot also be saved for the next time it comes? I don't think... Anybody knows that? Maybe, probably. Maybe some people know that. I don't know. I have no idea if it'll be saved or not. Like, we don't even know if that fair event will ever come back. Developers never mention on their social media being like, Oh, players like the fair event. It'll come back next time. Developers didn't say any of that. The fair ended and everything stayed quiet. So we don't even know if it'll come back another time. I assume it will. Because I don't think there is a reason for it to not come back. But we never know. Welcome, big lady. Welcome, welcome to the stream. It won't come back as they work on the helicopter, Wana. Says Wana. Uh, you're saying that as if they need to work on the... Whatever it's called. The Forlorn Fairy event to release it again. We've gotten Forlorn Fairy event now four times. So we just kept getting like the same event. Kinda. All right, let's deal with these zombies over here. But yes, guys, the reason why we are not getting any new updates is because developers are uh, working hard on the ATV and Bunker Charlie and Bunker Zulu and the submarine. And uh, what else? I know what else they're working on, on the Dark Zones. On multiplayer, on PvP, on clan wars. Is Titanium or in the game? Yes, Titanium is in the game, but Tungsten isn't. Source says insane. Trust me, bro. Trust me, bro. It's all in my head. Trust me, brother. But sag the clown wig! Every time I touch that clown wig, it, it loses so much hair. The clown wig. So there's that. It's like, do we raid uh, by... You don't raid any real people and you're not raided by real people. You are raiding bots and you are raided by bots. Nothing again. This place is useless. Okay, I think I know what I'll do. I'm just gonna split these things real quick. And ladies and gentlemen, let's go and auto on a... I need to... Did I just get seriously these care? Oh no, I... Everything's fine. Don't worry. I know what I'm talking about. I'll get this. Wrong button. Okay. Okay, the swamp zombie didn't see me because we have this ghillie suit. Nice. That's beautiful. Stop microwaving it. Keep it in the freezer. Alrighty. Oh, that's it. My inventory is full and there is no more wood in this place. Oh, because we were in the orange zone. I have no idea why am I farming this trash. It's better to go in the red zone. Today I didn't get the antenna. Is that normal? I need one more, says a Max King. You will get more antennas. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. <laughs> Pulls out the red nose. This is my source, says Insane. Yeah, that, that is my source. That is quite right. That is my source, actually. So, guys, if you want the helicopter in the game, no worries. Puts on the red nose. It's coming. Soon. Ladies and gentlemen, trust me, bro. Last day on Earth, helicopter is coming very soon. 
No worries about it. Even if we get the helicopter, now when I think about it, it'll be difficult to assemble just like the ATV. Even more difficult, probably. People already can't assemble the ATV because it's extremely difficult to assemble. So when they release the helicopter, I don't even know if they'll be able to make people happy. Honestly. As I said during the last live stream, I don't think there's any updates that they can release that will revive last dinner. They have taken their sweet time to release any updates. It's been a while since we've gotten anything interesting. As I said, Last on Earth is now at, as a, at its lowest point probably that it's ever been. And I am... I'll be amazed if they release anything that people like and that revives the game. Even if they release now the helicopter, right? Most of the people that enjoy the game have left the game and new players are not going to grind towards the helicopter. Unless there's like a reason and it's like relatively... Uh, obtainable. Shh, can't hear the music, says insane. I'm sorry. I apologize. But well, it is what it is. I still have hope with some back the red nose. So it can only go up from here, right? Well, hopefully. I don't think so. I don't think it's gonna go up from here. As I said, I don't know what, uh, what they'll release. For it to go up. I said it's impossible. It's not gonna go up anymore. But I'd like to be proven wrong, of course. I hope I am wrong. Okay, let's chop down some more trees. Maybe they're waiting for the people to complete ATV before bringing the helicopter out, says Wardy. What people? It's like storing so much goop in the trash chest that he needs to upgrade other chests. It do be like that. I, could, I should delete some things. I should delete an entire rack of armor because I have like, what, four or five racks? So, there is that. Alrighty, we're gonna deal with some of these dudes. Yo, Zach, you welcome to the stream. Thanks for the super chat. Welcome, welcome. Hey, it's like, should I complete all floors uh, with... Have modded guns without the event? Oh, I think you meant... You mean Bunker Bravo without the event. No, you shouldn't do this. I highly advise you to wait for the Bunker Bravo event. You will save an insane amount of guns. So definitely wait for the event. Absolutely wait for the event. Don't waste your guns without the event. Unless you have like a lot of them. Unless you have like maybe three racks of it. But even then I think it'll be a waste. Just probably wait for the event. Like seriously, just wait for the event. Man's base is larger than the Amazon warehouse. Well, not quite there yet. After I up upgrade some of the... Some of the chests, then maybe then, yes. Nope. Oh my goodness. The stupid uh, auto sword button. It's breaking everything. Hey, Eric, should I complete all floor with have modded guns without the event? Yo, Zaki, thanks once again for the super chat, and uh, yeah, make sure to probably wait for the Bunker Bravo event. Don't really waste your guns without the Bunker Bravo event. Even if you have a lot of them, like, even if you have three racks of it, I still don't think it's worth it. Unless you want to have some fun. Like, that's a different thing. If you just want to have some fun and blast some weapons, then yeah, sure, go for it if you want to try it. But if you want to, like, save guns and be efficient, then seriously, wait for the event. I'd advise you to wait for the event. Because it's ridiculously expensive without the event. Okay, let's deal with another swamp zombie. Just missing the poor employees uh, with their monthly pee bottle, says some guy. Actually, I do have my pee bottle and whips out and shows it. Hi guys, I'm kidding. I have a diaper. Three steps ahead of 
uh, ahead of them. How do I get a tactical or military backpack? You find it in the game. If you have any other questions, let me know. <laughs> do you get the tactical backpack from the supply event? If you're lucky. You used to be able to get it from the gas station. I'm not sure if you get it there. Like, honestly, till this point, I haven't gotten any answers from people. Some people say that you can get it. Some people will say that you can't get it. Some people say that I've gotten it a year ago. I don't care that you've gotten it a year ago. I want to know if you can get it now. So I'm not really sure if you can get the tactical backpack from the from the gas station. I'm still not sure. I can't get it. Why title says Karina? Please uh, elaborate. And uh, what else? You can also get the tactical backpack from the arena event by opening up so, so whatever packs there. Suppressor packs. I don't know. You can get that. And if you need the military backpack, it's pretty common. You can craft it yourself or get it from some events. As you can see, it's pretty cheap-ish to craft. He, he starts the clapping first and then the answers. Well, what can I say? Welcome to Cyrix livestream. Hey, Sack, two racks of guns. Enough for police department 99 waves. And should I do it? You should wait until you get your grenade launchers. Because if you're going to do 99 waves without the grenade launchers, you probably won't have enough guns to do 99 waves if you don't have any grenade launchers or grenades. And it's not worth it. You'll just waste your guns. It's not... It's not worth it. It is not worth it. So just wait for, for grenades. Gather enough grenades, like 90 grenades. Or something, a hundred grenades. One grenade launcher lasts for like 16 shots, 15, 16 shots, 14, 13. I'm not sure how many shots. Uh, I think it's about 16 shots, probably one grenade launcher. Maybe some of you know better. I don't remember. I think it's 16 shots. And you need one shot per wave. So you can count how many grenades and grenade launchers you need. Is that good? What is good? Your guns? Amazing weapons. Very good weapons. Amazing weapons. What should be the next big update for the game, Cyric? I have no idea. Whatever they add, whatever they add. Like, anything is going to be big for the game at this point. How many guns is in one rack of guns? 75. I think it's 15 shots, says Wardy. Maybe 15, 16 shots. I'm not sure actually how many shots is is in a grenade launcher. I know you need about like six, seven grenade launchers for 99 waves. 10 shots per grenade launcher. No, no, no it's definitely more than 10. I'll be really upgrading the base. Yes, we are upgrading the racks. That's why I'm farming ash trees. Because the base is already upgraded. We already have all the walls. There's nothing else left to upgrade but the chests. So we're going to be upgrading the chest. They are in 16 shots. Yeah, that sounds about right. It lines up with my answer. So I'm going to say that that's probably the right answer. <laughs> 16 shots is 16 shots then. Best gun is the Glock. It's easy to find, convenient if you add mods to it. Even common mods is top tier, says Wanda. I agree. I agree. Glocks are epic. Even without the mods, Glocks are the best guns in the game. Because they don't miss. AKs are obviously also great, but yeah. Glocks are epic. How many Winchesters do you have? More than one, less than a thousand. The answer is somewhere between there. That's it, my inventory is full. How many Ashtrays do we get? One, two, three, four stacks. Hmm. Do we go more? 
I think we should go a bit more, ladies and gents. Should we go more, or is that enough? Let's go more. Ladies and gentlemen, more! And I'm here with one broken Gloxus, some guy. Don't worry about it. You'll get more weapons. You will definitely get more weapons. Imagine if in this game we could build unlimited amount of workbenches. That would be amazing. Maybe not unlimited amount of workbenches. I think... Like some nice quality of life updates that they could add is... Uh, let's say... First of all, ATV is pretty goop. But whatever, let's say ATV is used to upgrade your racks. Okay, fine. They could add the helicopter. With that helicopter, you could get perhaps some sort of blueprints for your base. And uh, you'll be able to unlock more workbenches. So let's say instead of building uh, only two saw benches at the base, you could build like three, four, five perhaps once you unlock the helicopter. But once again, once you unlock that helicopter, do you really need five or six saw benches? Like probably not really. So this stuff comes too late. But you got my point. Helicopter could unlock some new blueprints. That'd be great. Helicopter will take you to last on Earth too. Imagine that. You sit on that helicopter, just fly away. The game downloads itself. You update it. And you're in last on Earth, too. That would be my dream. For the settlement, they should add more workbenches, too. Yeah, the settlement is actually a joke. I do grind in the settlement, but I find it funny that we can only have one saw bench. Like, we can get another one. A sawmill. Yeah, we can get another one later on in the game. Once you kind of don't need it. So that is ridiculous for me. What to do with the data disk you get from the past, not the floppy disk. The data disk you got from the past. From the past. Oh, you meant from the transport hub boss there sometimes that the the green dude that spawns with the green thing on the back you bring it to the laboratory and you give it to the to the person there sitting uh, sitting at the laboratory and you'll be able to level up the reputation just a little bit it's kind of useless like if you have one of them it's not really that useful it's like a hard mode bunker alpha item is the laboratory worth it? Not really. You only need the laboratory for the drone. Before the drone, you didn't even need the laboratory. The laboratory is pretty good. Bolt. Bolt cult was made to fix the helicopter. What? Bolt cult. What's a bolt cult? like, when is the metal cutter coming out? I have no idea. We spoke about metal cutter quite extensively already. It wouldn't help the game. It would ruin the game if it came out just like that. Because you're being raided by bots. And if, you're bot if you lose level 4 walls because of a bot, it's gonna feel kind of bad for those people that... Either bought level 4 rooms or built those level 4 rooms or whatever. So I don't think that would be a good idea. However, if they change the raids, if they add more bases with metal walls, if they change how we raid, I don't know. Maybe then. But that's a whole different can of worms. So I don't think we're getting the metal cutter. However, if they ever release it, they release it. I don't know. The cult is about the bolts, so the cult bolt, the, the bolt cult is a cult about bolts. Okay. Understandable. Have a nice day. Thank you, guys, for elaborating that. Thanks for elaborating it. I'm feeling much better. If they didn't give them to the raiders, the raiders, that would be good. Yeah, sure. We wouldn't have any bases to raid with, with metal cutters, though. There are, like, probably three bases. Three bases with metal walls. So there's that. 
Pretty sure if they add metal cutters, but our bases can't be rated with metal cutters. Then yeah. Absolutely. Why not? Uh, why am I... First of all, I'm out of weapons. Stop destroying my ghillie armor! You schmuck. Metal cutter would end up being season pass exclusive item, probably. But yeah, if raiders don't get metal cutters, right? If the bots cannot raid our bases with metal cutters, then it's not that bad. I guess. I don't think that would be fair. But does it really matter? What if Last Center turned into Minecraft? Could you please elaborate? That's what I'll do to the comments. When I don't understand something, I'll just like, hey, elaborate. And that's it. I've answered the comment. I acknowledged it. And uh, that's it. Genius, ladies and gentlemen. Big brain. So yeah, probably that's the last red zone, then it'll bring some stuff back to the base and we'll start cutting down these ash logs into ash planks. Hey, it's like, where can I get a lot of air filters? You can't... You can only get some air filters from Bunker Alpha. There's some other places where you can get them. I think you can get some of them in the sewers. Perhaps you can get, yeah, one or two. You can get some from Bunker Alpha and some from the sewers. You cannot get a lot of... Air, air filters. They're pretty difficult to come by. Back in the days, you could also get those air filters from the airdrops. I'm still not sure if it's possible, if you can still get them from the airdrops. Maybe you can, maybe you cannot. I have no idea. And I think we got my favorite. Oh, Bunker Bravo event is coming on 12th of December. That's great. And plus, we got my favorite event, Gold Rush, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yeah! Hope they try to rework multiplayer into something better. It's good, but could be 100 times better. Uh, they've been reworking that multiplayer basically since day one. The game's been out for a while. We waited like a year or something. Now when I think about it, it's not even that long, but... It's just because we got accustomed to not getting any updates, but at that time when the game came out, we had to wait like over a year to get multiplayer. When the game was kind of advertised that it kind of has multiplayer, but it didn't. Then we got the chat, like we got a clan, then you could chat with people, then we got uh, Sector 7 here, we got the power suits, then that stuff changed a few times, and then we got the crater over a year ago. So there is that. Did you see the scum teaser? Yes, indeed. Scum 0.95 is just around the corner. So I'm super excited for... For scum. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Before, we, you would have to, like, click that to... To sort it out. But now just one... With one click of a button, we can sort out everything. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is beautiful. Very beautiful. I wanted to stream for so long, uh, Sire becomes a Jack Lumber for a day. Jack Lumber? Lumberjack, Jack Lumber. Um, let's drop some stuff in the workbench. Wouldn't it be awesome if we had like five workbenches or 20? It would be so much faster for me to just cut down these planks, but now we just gotta wait. Okay, I'll wait then. Nothing fits! Oh Lord. Well, I'm gonna move uh, the these random items. These items were from season one and they still stayed in the game for some reason. Ridiculous. Okay, we can drop those here. And I can probably drop these items here for now. 0 0.95 will release next week, says the A, I think. Okay. Very poggers. I mean, it's supposed to release very soon. It'll be released this month. It's kind of crazy that a PC game, like, uh, uh, PC game scum, right, gets more updates than last. And that, that boggles my mind. 
But yeah, I'm super excited for Scum Survival. The new series, 100%. 110%. Perhaps even daily series. Um, the carrots. Oh, we're gonna drop the carrots, ladies and gentlemen. Icarus got up, gets updated every week on Fridays is insane. Yeah, that's uh, huge props to Icarus for that. I think it's amazing. Like if, if, if you are in a community that likes like weekly updates, the game always gets updated. And it's not like they, they're adding like insane updates, but all the time they add like something new, like a new pouch, a new weapon, a new like, a new something, a new type of grass or whatever. Like every week it gets something new. Still poopy game though, says insane. Stop it! Don't say that about Icarus. I mean, Icarus is still Icarus, it's still laggy, it still freezes a lot for some reason. I wish it didn't do that, it's still very choppy. But if it ran well, I think it would be amazing. But it would be nice, like those kind of games that get weekly updates are amazing. In my opinion. Um, we need Clash Royale content, says Maze Vlogs. LOL. However, I did get... Uh, Brawl Stars again on my phone. I don't know if I regret that or not. I mean, I just have them. When I played the game, there were like, what, only 20 or 30 Brawl Stars? Like brawlers, champions, whatever you want to call them. Now they're like 60 or 70 or something. That's ridiculous. I have a story to tell you, ladies and gentlemen. So buckle up. Uh, I had an alarm on my old phone. As you already know, it broke. Right? The screen broke. So now the phone is just lying in my room here without the screen. However, the alarms still work on it. So I woke up and then the phone started ringing like for no reason. The alarm is ringing on it even though there's no screen. Beautiful. But so that's the entire story. Thanks for gathering here. Thanks for gathering around the camp. You can take your things and go home. Because we're going to bunker uh, alpha. Fake story? Absolutely fake story. I made it up. Um, what am I doing? Is that enough guns for the third floor? I have no idea. I'm getting it, but I'm like, what if that's not enough? So let's get one more. And one more. And one more. That's definitely way too many. 12-hour Brawl Star stream. Story of the year, says Wardy. It is a good story. I agree. You took your screen off without shutting it down. I did shut it down. I think alarms ring even when your phone is off. It's not the first time it happens. Many times uh, I've turned off my phone and it would still ring because of the alarm. Um, let's put, let's take these. Psych last brain cell trying to process how many guns he needs to clear the third floor. Says uh, Farmer Gladwell, it do be like that. That's what I'm doing. Did you get the new phone or still using the broken one? How will I use the bro- I'll show you the broken phone. This is the broken phone right now. That's the screen. It doesn't exist. And that's the, the, the back part. That's it. It doesn't have the screen. I can't use it even if I want it. However, I did buy a new screen off of eBay. Hopefully I don't get scammed. Nice alarm clock, yes indeed. It's just literally an alarm clock. Hopefully it doesn't ring tomorrow. I mean, I did disconnect the battery now. 
so there is that. So yeah, I got a new screen off of eBay. And hopefully that'll work. How did you break it? I mean, it fell on the floor and uh, nothing broke on the phone. The screen was fine, but like half of the screen was working and half of the screen wasn't working. Like it was unresponsive and it would click everywhere randomly. And I like restarted, I reconnected all the cables and everything and it still doesn't work. Like it's still doing all of those weird things. I'm gonna assume the screen broke somehow, some way, but it's not broken. So I got a new screen and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, I need the password. Let's go on Discords. Let's go on YouTube's. Oh, it's on Discord, of course. Discord.gg slash happy siren. You know a case would have uh, helped to keep it safe? Nothing would have helped to keep it safe. It didn't even fall from far. The phone is supposed to... To be able to withhold falling on the floor, right? And it fell on the floor and it just stopped working. It didn't crack! And I'm, I'm still gonna refuse wearing a case on the phone. Unless I had like a thousand five hundred dollar phone, right? If you get the newest iPhone. Then maybe for that I would get a phone. A, a case. But even then I would feel like... Uh, I don't like cases on the phones. Like I... I would even say as far as... I'd go as far as saying that I hate them on the phones. Uh, 275... 275... 20. There we go, the password worked. Thanks, Calvi, for sharing the password. Thank you, thank you. Of course, a self-plug says uh, some guy. Yes, indeed. Make sure to check out our Discord. Discord.gg slash Hypsack. Thank you guys for sharing the password. Thank you, thank you. You're not going to tell them that they're too late. No, I'm not going to break their hearts. It's fine. Thank you guys for sharing the password. Even though it's too late. But thank you. Should have stuck with Nokia 3310. That was indestructible. It do be like that. I got a new... It wasn't a new, I got a refurbished S21 Plus. Which was amazing. But yeah, it just fell on the floor. It was my second refurbished because I got a refurbished S21 Plus and it came and the screen was garbage. Like they clearly put a fake screen. The resolution of the screen was blurry. Everything was blurry. So I sent back that phone and uh, I got a refund and I got another refurbished S21 Plus. And uh, that one was fine, but it did fall on the floor. And the screen stopped working. That's kind of interesting. So yeah, I bought a screen off of eBay. Hopefully it's not a fake screen. Hopefully it'll be normal. I'll update you guys later on. Um, let's start the third floor. Because I kind of need to progress through this season pass anyways, right? We're on level 78. So let's go for the third floor. I usually have a more expensive phone. Never not have a case on it. But then again, I have a four-year-old. So my phone gets dropped a lot. I have my A70 for like a few years now. How much did it cost for a refurbished phone? $300. I wouldn't spend more than 300, 350 for a new phone. Kind of breaks my heart. Fix it on camera. I'm not going to be fixing it on camera. You think I'm stupid? But yeah, I have my old A70 now. And it's still great. It doesn't really work anymore. The... The SIM card doesn't work. It doesn't have signal when you go outside. So it just kind of works on Wi-Fi. It does sometimes work. It Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you make, can make calls, sometimes you cannot. It depends. So that's why I had to get a new phone. Now it's broken. So it is what it is.
Nice backpack, Sark. It is a nice backpack. It is a great backpack. Please change your bag, says Rock Ashraf. Nah, brother. You're capping right now. That's the silliest comment that I've read. I'm sorry, Rock. I'm not really sorry, but... I'm saying it to sound nice. I'm sorry, but that's the silliest comment I've read today. Maybe even this week. The silliest comment of the week. Of the month? Perhaps even? That's, a, that's quite an achievement, Rock. That's quite an achievement. You made it. You did it. This is the best bag ever. Never ever say bad things about this bag. What mods do you have on the M16? These are the mods that I have on the M16. You don't really have to have that purple mod. You can get the green laser and it'll be fine. I've had my Oppo phone for a few years now. It still works fine and I dropped it down the toilet once. It says Wardy, do be like that. I would still be using my A70. I'm, I'm using it right now, but as I said, I can't make phone calls anymore with it. It's not stable. And plus, it kind of started lagging a bit. But it is what it is. Are you a tree hugger, Cyric? Buy refurbished phones and fixing them is very eco-friendly, says the A. Uh, I mean, when you don't want to spend a thousand bucks on a new phone, you're you become eco-friendly. Which again, everybody's different. Everybody gets happiness from different things, right? So I'm not judging anybody. If you want a new phone, you get a new phone. It's totally fine. I got nothing against that. When it drops down the toilet, it becomes a smell phone instead of a cell phone. Oof. Oof. <laughs> I have a smell phone in my pocket. I mean, it depends if it falls in a full toilet or not, right? So this is not a... I have to probably mention this. It's not an efficient way to clear Bunker Alpha. If you want to know how to clear Bunker Alpha, make sure to check out the free-to-play playlist. Alright, there I explain how to wall trick with, like, whatever you want. There I explain how to clear Bunker Alpha efficiently. Make sure to check out the free-to-play playlist. Link is down in the description. So there we go. Here we're just clearing Bunker Alpha because I want to do a raid. We're clearing it for fun. I think I have to mention this because till this day people will always say that oh my god Sark is very inefficient. He doesn't know how to play the game. He just blasts his guns. Uh, I'm not going to clear Bunker Alpha with spears and wall tricks for six years straight. On live streams! So there we go. There's that. That's why I'm clearing it the way I'm clearing it. Did you teach how to do the blind one hard mode? There is only hard mode blind one, and we've killed the blind one many times. Make sure to check out the free-to-play playlist in one of the episodes there. I killed the blind one. Maybe even in one of the most recent ones, I've killed the blind one. Why not, says Swanky? Why not what? Why not clear Bone Karafa with spears for six years? I think that's stupid. Again, if it makes you happy, it makes you happy. It wouldn't make me happy. Plus, it's extremely boring. It's already good enough that we are clearing this bunker alpha for six years. It doesn't mean that I have to make my life more difficult and do it with, with spears. If 
Okay, let's hide behind the wall. Let's get this and uh, this thing. There we go. It's like, how can you have tons of red tickets when you are not clearing Bunker Alpha anymore? It says, I am Atomic. How do you know that I'm not... What am I doing right now? I am Atomic. What am I doing here right now? I am not clearing Bunker Alpha anymore. What am I doing right now? <laughs> Say it. Say it. I literally clear Bunker Alpha probably during every live stream. I'll clear a few floors. But Siren. That's it. I lost a few brain cells, but it came back. I picked it off the floor. Totally not in Bunker Alpha at all. Exactly. I'm at the motel, ladies and gentlemen. I'm clearing the motel right now. Nothing. I was thinking it's the settlement. It's also the settlement. Yes, it's the settlement and the uh, and the motel at the same time. Surely clearing the police department, absolutely. However, it is not Bunker Alpha. It's everything but Bunker Alpha. Let's open up one more chest, and I am curious. Did I kill? Okay, there's one more frenzy giant, so I gotta go around and kill it. When is the CS2 video? Why would there be a CS2 video? Did you get the frenzy giant guarding the two chests? Probably not. I'm going back to get it. Where can I find shopper parts outside of farm in Bunker Alpha? You only get them at the farm or Bunker Alpha. Oh my god, Bunker Charlie. Yes, guys, welcome to Bunker Charlie. It's my first time clearing it. Another ticket. Just for the third floor, we got a decent amount of red and yellow. That's actually a lot of red and yellow. Usually you don't get that many. Pretty, pretty interesting. Mm, and that is it. We have cleared now the entire... Bunker Charlie. Let's battle from here and let's go for the first raid of the day. All right, let's go get out of here. Let's skedaddle. Do the fourth floor. Now, we're not going to be doing the fourth floor unless raiders ask me to do it. 
But as of right now, I don't think we need it. We just need one more level and we will be at level 80. Probably we will reach that today. So that's awesome. Let's pre-clap. All right. Okay, I'm not going to give those green tickets as they're... I mean, what am I going to do with them? I want to save my red ones though. And that is it. Will you play Arc Ace soon? Arc Ace? They fixed a lot of things and bugs. You mean Ark Survival? Ascended? If you mean Ark Survival Ascended, then yes, very soon, because I even wanted to play today. But hey, here we are. Like, can you play the game once a human? I have heard of it. Wait, isn't it like the... The survival game? I've been keeping my eye on it. I've heard of it. It's been like teased and whatever for a while now, for over a year. It's like a VC mobile game. I have no idea when it's coming out. On Steam, it says it's coming out in 2024. So there's that. Did you see the day before has been absolutely roasted since it launched? Yep. I mean, I feel kind of embarrassed for for playing it and having high hopes for the game. Like, I honestly wanted the day before to be good, but the, all of the... Yeah, literally every mobile game that we have played here on the channel, every survival mobile game is better than the day before, which is like absolutely ridiculous. Even on Dawn, that is like almost empty, is better than the day before. Like, it's ridiculous how empty and silly is the day before. Don't be embarrassed. Everybody fell for the same for it. Nah, but I mean, like, I still hope that it's great. Like, after two hours of playing it, I was like, maybe there's still something. And then I'm like, that's it. That's the entire game. There is nothing else. I was expecting that maybe something else will unlock, but nothing got unlocked. But whatever. Um, It is what it is. Let's drop the foods. Wait, and I want to talk to the raiders. I want to see what other tasks we got to do. Okay, three deals with the dealer. Actually, maybe let's call him on the radio. All right, what do we want? Just one gold bar. Okay. We can do that. One's be... Once human beta is available on PC since 7th of December. Uh, might be. I think you need like their third party software or something. Which I'm getting. Unless it's on Steam. Which it's not, so. Uh, the, the, the brain is working at the full capacity of gold bar. That's what the dude wanted. Just one. Gold bar. You still play this game? It's been like two years now, more like six, but all right, Viper, welcome to the stream. Okay, let's go to the dealer and let's make a deal. When was the last time your character died? I have no idea. He is going to give you either a Glock shotgun or the blue thing. I forgot what it's called. The blue thing. I forgot what it's called either. Um. Gothic controls are weird, says Mr. Dunhill. There are weird... 
When it came out, it was, the controls were already weird, but you get used to them very quickly. They're pretty good once you get used to them. Like, myself, I never really had any problems with it. I wouldn't even know that it has weird controls. I only knew that it has weird controls once, uh, once I went online and I saw people talking about it. People said that, oh, Gothic has weird controls. I'm like, all right. Myself, personally, I didn't have problems with it. But I'm glad you're trying it. PvP again. Uh, maybe we can try it. Wait a minute. Wait, let's go to the Sector 7 real quick. But before we go there, guys, make sure to guess what we can get inside of that box. The winners will get absolutely nothing. So make sure to guess what's inside of this box. I had no problems with it. Says Mr. Dunhill. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty. Alright, I guess I'm gonna guess myself. Pipe. And we got a skull crusher. Uh skull crusher. There's only one person that guessed it. Muhammad Tarek. Congratulations for winning absolutely nothing. That is it. Nobody else guessed it. That is it. Congratulations for winning absolutely nothing. We did it. Skull Crusher. It's been a while since we've gotten a Skull Crusher from that box. Psycho, love your videos. Why don't you try to open a YouTube channel? I'm a little bit lost. Welcome to the stream. Uh, okay, we gotta go outside. I wanna check on that PvP. If I can go there, I'll go there. I wanted to get absolutely nothing, too. Well... It is what it is. Maybe you'll be able to get nothing next time. Yes, like, why don't you start a YouTube channel? Perhaps one day. They say no more PvP. I'll be the judge of that. Time to endure more pain. That's what we do. Sweet home, Sector 7. It depends if we can even go there to the PvP. Maybe I can't even start it. Starts in one hour and 30 minutes. So let's get out of it, ladies and gentlemen. We can't even do PvP even if we wanted to. So there's that. Last PvP was a small win. Yeah, it's also stupid that you kill a player and you don't even get their gear. You get something broken. So that's silly. What is this place? People haven't even seen the Sector 7. That's nuts. Very, very nuts. Okay, let's talk to the Raiders. Uh, they wanted three deals with the dealer. We've done one. We'll skip the rest. They needed, like, what, for me to craft the armor or something? We'll do this, and then we can buckle up and go. Do you know a good place to get wide guns? What? What guns, excuse me? Could you please elaborate? Uh, we need five hatchets and a set of armor. I can do this. One, two, three, four... Five. Can we take a moment and appreciate that I, at least we have this global inventory now and we can craft this armor without having items in our inventory? Most of the games already have that. And finally, last and I got it too, like a few months ago, so that's great. It's like, would you like to join the Bolt Cult? Uh, what tells you that I'm not in it already? Hmm. What tells you that I didn't begin it? That I didn't start it? That I'm not the leader of that cult? Hmm. Two, three. Do you think we'll live 
to see multiplayer in the wasteland. I don't think we need to see it in the wasteland, honestly. Because you're still too vanilla, says Ashwin. I'm a little bit lost. If that's a joke, then I guess that's a good one. If that's not a joke, then that's a good one as well. Or that's bad, I don't know. Thanks for confusing me. It's like I poured my heart into this comment. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you know when the best time for the alpha wolf to spawn in Lime Grove? Still waiting for it to show up so I can complete my last raid mission, says Wardy. I have no idea. It's tricky. I don't usually hunt for those wolfos because it's pretty boring. So I have no idea when they spawn and what you have to do. From what I understand, they're random. Some people say that they spawn in the night. So I don't know if that's actually true or that's just uh, fake news. I'm going to assume that it's just fake news. Planks. I don't think something happened with those ash planks, but we can try it. Which emulator are you using? Mimo player. One plank! We got one measle plank, everybody. Um, okay, we need the C4. I totally forgot about it. Last night will forever be a beta release. I mean... I don't have a problem with it. I mean, let's say they right now release another update, they add like, whatever, nothing. And they say that that's it, the game's not in beta anymore. Like what's going to change really nothing. All right, they can say right now that the game's not in beta anymore. It's not really going to change anything. There are some games that have stayed forever in beta, like Seven Days to Die. Then there are some games that will be released out of beta, like Sons of the Forest. It was in beta, in early access, let's say. And uh, they worked on the game in, in February. It's coming out of early access. So it is what it is. Whatever, LDOE Raid Player 5608. Oh, Lord! I think I know how to enter this base, ladies and gentlemen. I've done enough research. So we can do it. That's it. I think I've done enough research. I hope I've done enough research. Do you have a video that can help me do the laboratory port? Uh, I have so much trouble. It's really chaotic. It is chaotic and... I have cleared laboratory. Just type happy psych laboratory. What you have to do there is take it slowly. Try to wall trick some of the zombies. If you can't wall trick them, just shoot them. You will require to use guns. It's a very chaotic place. You're right. You've described it very properly. You've described it right. Like that's the perfect word to describe the laboratory. It's chaotic. That's what it is. And it will always be chaotic there. There's nothing you can do about it. It'll be very chaotic. You just blast guns and wall trick where you can. And that's it. Seven days make me sad because it has so much potential, but it's stuck in development. I know. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty good game. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it is in development, but let's say they say they said that that's it. The game is out of beta. Like, it's not going to change the game. And Seven Days to Die has a lot of content. It has an insane amount of content. Uh, let's drop these. Yeah, this is a pretty sad base on the far uh, from the first looks. 
But hey, that's all right. Let's not judge the base bites cover. It's like that was my first raid. This was your first ever raid. Well, I'm glad to raid this base then. Seven days is boring now with the new alpha. I have no idea what they've added there. I guess you can make it more difficult. The point is in seven days to die, you can add different settings. You can make those zombies attack you every like few days, every day, every three days. I think you can make those zombies stronger or not. So you can make it more difficult if it's boring, I guess. At some point next year, scum should be out of early access. Yes, indeed. I'm excited for the future of scum survival. The devs are constantly working on it. It's buggers. I love that it has the single player part of it. Like that's what I like the most about Scum Survival. If it wasn't for the single player, I don't know if we'd be playing Scum Survival for that long. I don't know if devs care much about single player players, I assume. Wait, I like Scum Survival. Bro, read my comments. It's TC Balaji. Okay, what does TC Balaji say? Hey, Happy Sark, I have a challenge for you. The challenge name is called Hardcore LD. You can have only five chests in your base and you can have only one full chest of weapons and your goal is to build ATV. The best challenge, TC Balaji. <laughs> best challenge. Thank you for, 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 for telling me this challenge. Thank you so much. The best challenge. Thank you so much. Are you going to do it? Absolutely. Like right now. I'm not going to sleep. I'll start this challenge right now. It's a really good challenge. Sykes approval. That comment definitely gets Sykes approval. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the base, it doesn't get Sykes approval. The base was garbage. The base was garbage, but the comment is great. Uh, are we gonna talk to the raiders again? Perhaps, perhaps. Perhaps we're gonna talk to them. Why wouldn't we? Oh, by the way, did you check the settlement? Yes, I did check it already. I don't know how long it takes for the things to... to, to process in those workbenches. An hour? 50 minutes? I have no idea. We could go there and check it out. Okay, let's try to go back to the settlement then real quick. Let's add some more wood. If I can even. Do the floppy crate? We should do a floppy crate. I haven't done it in a while. So we're going to do a floppy crate. Our Mercy Berries. What Mercy Berries are you using at the settlement missions? Uh... What Mercy Berries? What's a Mercy Berry? It's like a berry that you find in the forest. Like, I, he meant, I don't care what he meant. All right. Let me have some fun. There are four Mercy Berries that I use. I use Connor, I use Tucker, Lemmy Maverick, and Karma. Those are the Mercy Berries that I use. Is that a berry from Ark? It does sound like a berry from Ark. Absolutely. <laughs> Mercy Berry. Alright, is it done? Not done yet. Not done yet. Oh, well, these things are completely not done. Whatever, I just got something. I'm gonna put that in the workbenches and I'll skedaddle. It's a berry, but it needs uh, mercy. Mercy berry.
Do you know a good place to get close range weapons, machetes, skull crushers, etc., from the green crates at the police department, or you just craft that stuff yourself? Thank you, Marcia Berries is a good name. It is a good name. The big Marcia Berry with the shotgun. Yeah, that's my favorite Marcia Berry. Wait, are there any other tasks that we need to do? Because I went to the settlement. We did whatever we had to do there. I haven't paid the raiders yet, of course. That's what's up. Uh, let's share that and let's call them on the radio again. Don't you think these trees are epic? Look at this. They've grown here. They're hiding this radio. Looks kind of beautiful. And the reason why I place this radio... How many people have their radio close to the mercenaries? They're close to the raiders. Because I call them quite often, so that's why the radio is here. Uh, we need to kill the witch. Consider it done. Let's go for it right now. And then we need to get a C4, so we're going to open up a floppy crate. Let's do it. Chop him, says DA. Stop it! You did not just say that. Stop it. It's like, it's kind of weird. You grow this entire tree, and you can't get any seeds from it. Um, but like, Sarek, what is going on? I'm stuck. I forgot what I'm doing. For a second, I was like, okay, maybe I still remember, but no, actually, I don't remember. Okay, the witch. There we go. I was thinking about the button Alpha. The witch. Ladies and gents, I am telling you that last brain cell is working over time. I don't care. It's not my fault. Floppy crate. And yes, we're also getting a floppy crate. But the floppy crate comes a little bit later. We are dealing with the witch first. I'm gonna get another set of armor. Once this one breaks. It's like, read my comment, says Summer Ant. Summer Ant says, Psyak Raiders Steel Acid Bath Crate? No. Do I really need a stack of carrots to fight the witch? I don't think so. I don't think so. The guns are already upgraded. Everything's upgraded. So let's just go and let's fight the witch. That's it. I'm ready. Okay, let's hop on the chopper and let's get daddle from here. Indeed, Sack is the best. He made the bolt cult. What's a bolt cult, guys? I'm pretending as if I don't know what it is. Sure. Okay, let's go to the infected forest. Look at the rewards you can get here. A USB drive, rope, an expensive watch. Mobile phone and a flashlight. It's insane. Thanks, devs, for making this place uh, actually worth it. Thank you. Imagine if this place actually gave something nice. Like, you could get a chest, maybe. Or something useful. So you could get big bones. Sure, buddy. Where you got that mug? It's a... It's a... It's old merch. It's all go to sleep merch. Will it focus? There we go. Of course, camera camera bought for three billion dollars. It should work. But yeah, it's that cup no longer exists as merch anymore. Nice cup of air in it. It's water inside. I promise. I still have a little bit of water. So do I have any water? Yes, I still have some water in it. Had to double check it because I wasn't sure. Okay, this Glock is broken. Let's get an M16. Can you make a video for ATV parts? Bunker Bravo. You grind Bunker Bravo for ATV parts if you want. 
Eight to be transmissions, you grind the transport hub and you spin caps at the gas station. That's it. Those are the things. Water in a mug, lol, says, hey, it's me. Where else am I going to store water? In a glass? Like, why can't I drink water from a mug? Some people are weird. It's like, you're the weird. No, and I'm not the weird one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The, nice, the game lagged. I can blame this time for uh, everything on the lag. Oh my goodness. We survived, ladies and gentlemen. We survived! Some of you didn't believe me. That's fine. I didn't believe myself either. But we survived. L spreadshot. Yeah, that spreadshot was garbage. The game lagged though. That's not my fault. I mean, the game is a joke. It's 2023 and I can't even aim my own spreadshot. That's stupid. Like so dumb that's beyond my comprehension. Um I agree, why can't it be a mug or a wine glass? It's just water. Exactly. You drink water from wherever. Really Yo, Frank Tiel! Last video in the crater was fun. Please make another one with crater content. You will make a lot of people laugh. Winking face. Uh, there we go. We somehow, somebody survived. And uh, Frank DL, thanks for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. There might be more uh, crater content in the future. But I don't know. I mean, th that gear is expensive. I mean, the, whatever gear I had there, probably asked the devs to send it. I guess like once a month, I can ask them to send some of that gear to make more like Sector 7 content. But I don't know. I don't really like PvP that much. It's pretty... It's a joke. That stuff is a... Joke. But we'll see. Perhaps there will be more. So yeah, once again, Frank TL, thanks for the super chat. Thanks for supporting the channel. And thanks for enjoying that live stream. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. People usually drink coffee in a mug. Never said you were weird. Why... You insinuating stuff. Uh, excuse me? I didn't insinuate anything. Water in a mug? Lol. Yes, water in a mug. That lol says everything. In any case, I'm not insinuating anything. I'm not attacking anybody. It's fine, guys. If you want to drink water from a mug, water from a glass, water from your palms, it's fine. Want to drink coffee from your palms? That's fine. I drink water from a mug, that's it. Almost died, Nina, that wasn't almost. Everything was calculated. I don't have a glass. I can't drink water from a glass because I don't have a glass. I only have a mug. I have my only mug. So water from a mug? Yes, because that's the only container, only fluid container that I have. Unless uh, you consider a bowl a fluid container, then I can drink from a bowl, I guess. Get a metal bottle for water. I have a metal bottle. Well, kind of metal bottle. It's an aluminum bottle covered with plastic. Disgusted. Oh, we need to open up the floppy crate as well. Uh, 
I forgot what I'm doing. I completely forgot. The floppy crate, exactly. That's what we we're doing. I am telling you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna lose that last brain cell. 1M16 should be enough for the floppy crate, right? Let's get this broken one. Yeah, I'm gonna get three stacks of yellow coupons. We had so many of those yellow coupons and yet we used up all of them and we stopped getting these yellow coupons from raids. So that is disappointing to say the least. Is Officer Murphy any good? Uh, all of them are goop. Or maybe he is good. I showed the ones that I use. I use the... Uh, I use Karma. I use... His name is not Kelvin. His name is... Connor. Right? Connor and Karma. Those are the two ones that I use. And the other two ones, it depends on the situation. Some people like using Rachel. Some people like using other ones. At the end of the day... Their level is all what matters. Connor is the best, though. Like that's it. You have to have Connor. Connor is the best. What an NPC name, Connor. I mean, Connor like Connor. Connor is a good name, I guess. Are happy because you are Cyric, or you are Cyric because you are happy. This is insane. That's a very deep question. I don't think I'm qualified to answer that. I want Karma because she has a lot of health like Connor. She can heal mercenaries as well. I did a tournament and got the best gun for the crates and then I took it to a tournament the same day and got teamed up on by three dudes. It do be like that. I mean, you're not going to do anything in the crater alone. You need to have teammates and you need to log in at the same time. And I'm pretty sure if your teammates, uh, if you are from a different... Uh, country, I don't think you'll be able to log in together because we have tried going to Sector 7 together with the... Uh... Oh my goodness. Ruckus. With the Ruckus, right? Like a few years ago, we played the Crater with the Ruckus, I guess, and we tried to log in together with the Ruckus. Or we even with, Star with Star Snipe, we tried to log in together and it didn't work because I'm from Europe and they're from US and you can't really log into the same lobby. Maybe it works now, but before it wouldn't work. And I guess it's goop. The, the, the whole crater thing is goop. That's all I have to say about it. What is the best way to get a grenade launcher from the floppy crate? Sometimes you get it from events, perhaps. Guys, one like equals one gifted brain cell for Cyrus to Stannis. You can guys try that. Maybe that'll work. Maybe we'll get more brain cells. Uh, how many brain cells does a brain have? How many brain cells uh, do does a brain have, right? Okay, there are 86 billion neurons or cells in the human brain 86 billion guys we need 86 billion likes is that going to happen i don't think so it's not going to happen 86 billion with the b ladies and gentlemen who counted that says <laughs> chrisek but it's not like I don't think they I have no idea how they counted all of those neurons. I'm pretty sure they I'm not a scientist. I'm not gonna pretend as if I know how they counted those uh, brain cells. Maybe they counted a portion of it and then they just applied the math. I don't know. I'm not neuroscientists. 
I'm not a neuroscientist. I'm just here playing the game. Technology, exactly. Who counted that? <laughs> that is funny, though. That is funny. No! <laughs> Infected crate! Well, I bet 200 likes will give him 0.1 extra brain knowledge. All right. Maybe it has a grenade launcher. Okay, the thing is stuck. But you work at NASA, you should know what. You think at NASA they count brain cells? Like in a joke, like you can tell somebody, like, how many chromosomes do you have? And the guy's like, more than you. All right, buddy. I can't believe I lost the raid. Was it Psyx approved? Absolutely, that was the best raid ever. Um, do we go back home? Yes, we do. Because we got the crate and we have to open it now. Actually, it'll be pretty easy because my acid bath is already almost empty. So it should be pretty easy to open it up. A daily floppy crate. A day keeps zombies away. A daily fro floppy crate a day. Farmer glad. That sounds kind of weird. A daily floppy crate a day. All right, I'll accept that. After all, we are last in our players. We don't really know how to read or write. Last dead hurt. A floppy created day. Yeah, it was supposed to be a floppy created day. But it is what it is. A daily floppy crate a day. <laughs> let's drop the thing back here and let's skedaddle. When will we play Once a Human? When it probably releases fully. Okay, I'm stuck. I'm absolutely stuck. NASA works for him, says so insane. Shh, we don't talk about that. That is classified information. And we need one air filter. Are you saying it was the best rate just because I missed it? I am um, no. I have no idea. I'm not saying anything. Okay, let's open up the acid bath and let's hope that it has some nice goods in it. A grenade launcher! Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a grenade launcher. That's our first grenade launcher in like three or four floppy crates. It has been a while. But finally, we got something good. Took us a long time, but we did it. You know what else we will do? Probably another raid. The second raid of the day is coming up. Okay, we can delete things that I don't need. There we go, we sorted out the base with this trash chest. Pretty cool. Sorry, can you speak French for like two minutes straight? Says Bapa Ro. Is that it? Is there anything else I you want me to do? I am just curious. And why only two minutes? Um, 
we're gonna open this up and let's craft the stack of first aid kits. It's not worth it to craft them. It's better to just use bandages. But again, I'm doing this because raiders want me to do it. So I'm doing it. That's why I'm doing it. I just deleted the SWAT helmet. We have enough armor at the base. We don't keep that kind of stuff. How much stuff do we got? Nine more, ladies and gentlemen. Nine more first aid kits. Yo, David Wiggle! Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello, amigo. Happy Cyric. Haven't been able to catch up the live streams in 84 years, but I watch you every day and always smash the like button. Thanks for the like button, David Wiggle. Uh, David Wiggle, thank you for everything, amigo. Welcome, welcome to the stream. And thanks for the support in the channel. Really appreciate that. Thank you, man. Excuse me, amigo. Excuse me, amigo. Uh, let's complete that. And let's skedaddle. Amigos, let's go to the raid number two of the day. That would be like a nice intro. Hey, amigos. Hola, amigos. Today, we're going to clear Bunker Alpha. Hola, como esta, amigos? Como esta? Uh, por favor, senor. My Spanish is pretty good, ladies and gentlemen. I don't like to brag, but hey, my Spanish is flawless. <laughs> vamos, vamos, super ant. Exactly. Hello, hello, amigo, happy Carrick. I haven't been able to catch a live stream in 84 years, but I watch you every day and always smash the like button. Thanks, David Bugger, once again. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. The like button is very important. Very, very important. Sarek habla español. No, guys, I'm joking. I do not uh, habla español. Have you ever played Subway Surfers? Yes. Not on the channel. You ate Mexican beans today. And mira con casa, mira cono eres. I have no idea what that means. But I'm going to say, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Exactly what you said there. Yeah. I did eat Mexican beans. You might be like, psych, is that? I did eat beans today. Is there a difference Mexican beans or not Mexican beans? There's a bag with veggies and it said Mexican uh, something. So, you know what? It is what it is. Do you can speak some Polish? Uh, what? Polish. Um, I got two C4s. Where did I drop them? Brother, what did I do with my C4s? Did I put them here? No, where did I drop my C4s? I got two C4s. And they're gone. Are they still in the acid bath? Ladies and gentlemen, where did I drop my two C4s? You were looking at the screen. I assume every nanosecond of your attention has been uh, here on the stream. Uh, flexing, there's nothing to flex. I legit lost my scars. Uh, my C4s. Oh, you're really good at subway surfers. I never said I'm good at subway surfers. C4s in that chest. In what chest? You dropped it in the chest. In which chest? Not here. Not here. And not in this trash chest either. It's the chest. Guys, I legit don't know where I dropped it. Oh, there we go. There, there they are. Thanks, Cyric. You're welcome. Uh, that's it. Let's eat some carrots and let's go for the second raid of the day.
Let's skedaddle. That one. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you. It was that one. It was totally that one. I told you that chest. Yep. Thank you, guys. We should do a Subway Surfers stream. I don't think I should, but thank you for the proposition. Thank you very much. I'm not going to do it. But thank you for the proposition. Thank you so much. Uh, LDOE raid player. Another player raid. 8366. Let's see. Let's see if it's any good. Or is another goop. Hell yeah. Um, I guess I'm ready to go for the raid. Are you ready though, ladies and gentlemen? Just because I'm ready doesn't mean you are ready. Are we ready? Bro, can you do some Jurassic survival videos? Probably not. However, thank you for the proposition. five chests it's actually only four chests because this i can't even open it up i can't even open up that safe ridiculous and unbelievable okay we got some yellow coupons all right all right that's not too shabby we'll be able to exchange that stuff for for the floppy crate well not really we need 150 yellow coupons but at least we got something jurassic survival that Game is dead longer than dinosaurs themselves, says insane. That's a good one. That is a good one. But now this background track would be very suiting the... It would be suiting the Jurassic Survival. Right? Because I can already imagine myself sneaking behind dinosaurs, behind raptors and whatnot. Let's get this. Oh, let's get that. Is it possible to kill the big one? Yes, but not during raids. So that is it. We have raided another base, ladies and gentlemen. Does it get Cyrix's approval? It's kind of a small base. I don't think it deserves Cyrix's approval. Double your rates, Sustanus. Um, I mean, I got a few coupons and that's it. I I wouldn't be happy with this rate on my free-to-play account. So no, it does not get Sykes approval. It's a trash rate. That's it. When I'm not sure if it's a good raid or not a good raid, I just think about it. If I'd be happy on my free-to-play account. And if that was my first raid, I would be very disappointed. It's a trash raid. And if anybody's happy with this raid, I am very surprised. I would be amazed if there is a person that'd be happy about this raid. I would kill for this raid, Cyric! Okay, Boomer. Cool story. And tell me how to improve in the game. Just play it and you'll get better. Goop out of 10. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, sneaking behind a 10 ton T Rex and killing them with a cleaver is insane. Yes, indeed, because why you will kill the T Rex with a cleaver? Because why are you wasting guns? So, yes. You will fight T-Rexes with cleavers and spears and clubs or whatever weapons they had there. Don't use guns. Because why waste gun when you can use fist? See? Smart. Smart. 
And speaking of T-Rexes, I miss Ark Survival. There will be more Ark Survival. We're going to be hunting T-Rexes, riding T-Rexes, and uh, taming T-Rexes pretty soon. Okay, let's pay the Raiders. How much money did you spend on this account? Billions of dollars. Billions with a B. I took out a loan. Bolt a day keeps the zombies away. All right. Welcome and end to the stream. Welcome, welcome. This is my first live stream. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. So we could go and kill the Ravager. And three bulls at the farm. But I think we cleared the farm location last time. And we are like very close to finishing this thing. So how about we do something better, right? How about we level up? Our season pass. How about we get a few AKs? I'm like, second, where are we gonna go? To the Dead Island. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dead Island. Two billion dollars, forty-three thousand millions, and forty-three billions. Says insane. Alrighty. He's my accountant, so he knows how much money I've spent on the game. And that's the correct number. Will that be enough? I'm not sure. I don't want to take too many guns because I've died at the Dead Island uh, more times than I'd like to admit. So I'm going to get my Kevlar armor just in case. And uh, that's it. I'll get another Uzi. Let's upgrade that and let's go. I miss Dying Light. I miss Dying Light as well. Dying Light was epic. Can you also spend money on my account? Sure, but I don't have any more. I've spent all the billions on this account. I don't have anything left. But once we get more billions, absolutely. I say med kits. Oh no, I didn't get enough meds. No. Disappointment is immeasurable. I only got one stack of meds. That's definitely not enough. So let's get some meds. Why do you need to upgrade the base now, says Joshua? <laughs> to have more... Uh, so that I could store more loot in it. To upgrade my chests. Two stacks, will that be enough? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Let's go. We just need 3k points. That's almost nothing. We'll kill a couple of zombies there. We'll kill a few friends of giants and we will level up our season pass and we will be done with that season pass. Kind of epic. It's 8 p.m. for him. Yes, it's 8.08. Uh, hopefully I have some gasoline. Oh no, I'm out of energy well whatever we can keep going is settlement another sector seven it is a bit better than sector seven but it is closer to sector seven there we go there is a very scientific uh get ready for the flashbang boom ah siren you blight it's fine don't worry uh so let's say this is a very scientific uh, thing, right? Um, I don't even know what I want to do, honestly. Uh, for what? Actually, we don't even need that. We just need one line, ladies and gentlemen. So there we go. Let's say this is uh, uh, the good part of the game, right? It's like 10 out of 10 part. I don't even know what I'm doing. This is 10 out of 10 part of the game. This is zero part of the game. So this is uh, main, main L D O 
E, right? And this is, let's say, sector seven, right? And this would be the, the settlement. Where would be the settlement? Around here, maybe on the scale. There we go, the settlement. Is that a coincidence that both of those things start with an S? Exactly, that's it, guys. Welcome to Cyric Picasso. A Cyric data scientist, welcome. There we go, I just raided the entire game, ladies and gentlemen. I just raided it. I just raided the Sector 7 and the, May the crater and the settlement relative to the main part of the game. That's it. We did it. Last day on Earth conspiracy with Cyric. What conspiracy? We don't have any conspiracy theories here. That's the only thing on the channel that I've never covered. I mean, we didn't cover lots of things, but we never covered any conspiracy theories about Last on Earth. I never covered any of these things like, oh, Jurassic Survival is owned by Last on Earth. This thing is owned by that. I never cared about that stuff. We never covered that kind of things. Oh, Last on Earth made this amount of money. We should be getting this amount of updates. I don't care how much they made. I know that we're not getting enough updates. I don't need to know how much they made. I know that they... We don't have enough updates. There we go. Can you play Westland sometime? Perhaps one day. Perhaps. Perhaps. Coincidence? I think not. Absolutely. Sector 7 and the settlement. They both start with a letter S. So... Yeah. I went to the toilet, I came back, and there was Cyric making some charts in his pants. Charts in my pants? What? I'm a little bit confused. It's like, why are you upgrading your base? Why not? Do those lurkers even give any points towards the season pass? I don't think these lurkers are worth it to kill even. I'll be probably honest with you, they're not worth it. He meant paint. Oh, probably that. Okay, that makes sense. It does make sense. Here we got 110, 110 points. Do we have any more schmucks here on the dead island? We could have went anywhere else, guys. It's not an efficient place to level up your season pass. I just think it's kind of fun, a little bit different. So that's why we are here. Do you have videos of Westland? Yes. You can go on YouTube, type L, uh, Happy Psych Westland. I've asked this man, Psych, three questions the last three live streams, and he replied with why not for all of them, says Deathwitch. I mean, it depends. Uh, I don't remember what those questions were, but probably they were like that. Why not? Oh no, oh no! That's how I died last time. Look at my armor. That is it. We just lost this amount of armor by fighting this guy. I mean, we did lose some more armor. And look at this, how long we are slow. Ridiculous. Damn, the fourth time even hurt more. Can we just stop it? I mean, if a question, if I can't answer that question, I mean, how else will I answer it? I'm sorry. Okay, we got 44 points for these guys. Okay, let's deal with the Lurker. I'm happy for you. I'm sorry that it happened, says Insane. Yep. It's either or. Yep. Usually here you can take off your armor, get your melee weapons, and deal with lurkers that way as they don't have, as he doesn't have that much health. Okay, here we are. Okay, the floater bloater was pretty nice. It was easier to kill them than those armored zombies. And we get more points. Cool. I don't even know how many points we got for killing that lurker. Not enough. Another phrase giant. And stuffers. Thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream, stuffers. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. 
to go with the stormtrooper. Is that it? Did we level up? I think we did. We got 3k points, ladies and gentlemen. We did it! Did we do it? We did it! We have beaten the season, ladies and gentlemen. We still have 11 days on the clock, but we did it. Let's get out of here. Let's go back to the base and let's unbox that dragon oven. You know what we're going to do with it. We're going to recycle it. Hell yeah. All Stark needs to do to destroy me is show me his base, essentially. <sighs> so I can't answer anything to it, but why not? Or why yes? I don't know. You need to play Prey Day Survival. You did a video on it like five years ago. There's still a big community on it that would love for you to do a video. I doubt it. I'm pressing X to doubt. Is it bigger than Last Earth? Because Last Earth's community now is very small. And there's no way Prey Day is bigger than Last Earth. So, uh, Google Trends, right? Let's say go to Google Trends. We can quickly... Uh, check it out. You say pray day, pray day, pray day zombie survival compared to last day on Earth. Okay, there go. It has nothing compared to last day on Earth. Interesting. I think I can show it even last day on Earth. There we go. There we go. That's the that's the Google trend here. That's where people are interested. Again, it's relative to one another, right? Let's say we add Fortnite to these terms, right? Uh, Fortnite, right? There we go. The Fortnite yellow one is gonna be is dwarfing last day on Earth and Prey Day, like all of those things are being dwarfed by Fortnite, but when you delete Fortnite, right? Last on Earth is dwarfing Prey Day. But if you remove Last on Earth... There are some people playing Prey Day, but... What, are, what about the past five years? Yeah, Prey Day was a lot more popular back then. Than fake stats, maybe Last Day on Earth. Uh, last Day on Earth in the past five years. Still, Eldiri is dwarfing that. That's it. In any case, Last Night is the best game ever created. That's it. Search the day before. I mean, we could check out the day before. We could add it. Uh, the day before. It doesn't always show here properly. Okay, the blue one, the day before, is overtaking Last Day on Earth. Web search and what about YouTube search? They're kind of similar on YouTube search, but yeah, it's still kind of overtaken here. In any case, Let's get out of ladies and gentlemen. The day before is bigger currently than last day on Earth anyway, so the trends don't really show everything. In any case, uh, we are here. Going back to the base, right? Right. It's like if you had the power to instantly add an update to last day on Earth, what would it be? Why not? No, I'm kidding. Uh, I'd like to add the auto sword button so that you go back to the, basically the button and everything sorts out. That's what I'd like to add to the game. Also, I'd like to add a lumber mill, a chainsaw, or a jag hammer. I'd like to update hard mode bunker alpha. I'd like to uh, get better loot in the laboratory. And I'd like to add an ability to trust sparks with ads at the laboratory. I'd, get, I'd add better loot to bunker bravo. I would add better loot to the abandoned factory. I would bring back the red forest. I would add better loot in the season pass. And I would add the ability to craft 10 items at the same time. There we go. That's what I would do. It's like one thing. I told you one thing. Well, I told you more things. That's it. Prada has better multiplayer though. I'm not arguing. Probably does have better multiplayer. Can have the best multiplayer in the world. Fix that's last dinner number one. Last dinner is number one. What about better multiplayer feature? Absolutely better multiplayer features as well, ladies and gentlemen. Totally. 
I would add everything to the game. Everybody would be happy. I wouldn't leave a single person out. Mm -hmm. I just literally mentioned like 20 things that I would add to the game. And psych, what about multiplayer? Yes, guys, multiplayer as well. Whatever else I didn't mention, I would add that as well. Totally. Uh, wait, we're back here. Time to recycle guns. Why don't you work with Kefir? Why would I work with them? How would I work with them? And uh, why would they work with me? Um, let's recycle, ladies and gentlemen, the drug. No, first of all, we're going to open up the blueprint. We got the purple tactical stock. That's a good one, isn't it? That is probably a good one. All right, let's try to get that tactical stock. Let's assemble it. And uh, let's get it. Where is my tactical stock? Is it even any good? We're going to assemble it regardless if it's good or bad. There we go. I don't have enough plastics at the base. Excuse me, sir. There we go. That's a lot better. Let's now add the rest of these things here. Let's finalize that tactical stock. Please answer my question about the long dark. Are you going to try out the new update? Perhaps. 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 Can't promise or deny anything. Um, the game took a bunch of plastic. But like, where did that plastic go? I mean, I had a lot of plastic, and I, I no longer have plastic. But it doesn't mean I have more space in the base either. So that is kind of interesting. Why do I have dog treats here? Alright, now let's try to modify this Dragunov. Let's add this, this stock and this stock. Actually, this stock is better. This stock is better than this one. That's all I have to say. This one reduces the the crit chance. It does remove some weight. And it adds some durability, like an extra shot. But it's not really worth it. So having this stock is better. However, we can add this new stock. But that other stock is better. We cannot even see that stock because of the armor. Well, 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 doesn't matter, ladies and gentlemen, because we are going to recycle it. No, say no. We are going to recycle it. Say goodbye to the Dragunov. When you're going to finish the drone workbench, when it becomes useful. Okay, thank you, Saik. You're welcome. Uh, okay. Let's recycle it with this. And let's see. Maybe you should upgrade your base. It can hold more loot. That's why we are upgrading it. Congratulations. You figured it out. Let's do it. Ah! I'm not surprised. Because last two Dragunovs that I've recycled, I've gotten a blueprint. They were useless. But I got a blueprint. This time, we got nothing, ladies and gentlemen. Disgusting. However, it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. It absolutely is what it is. Rip Dragunov. Yep. Why? Why not? What are we going to do with these Dragunovs? Look at them. They are an exclusive weapon. A collector's item. And I still have one here for the memes. So I'm not recycling that one. As long as I have one Dragunov, I'm fine with it. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen... We're going to be wrapping it up. So thanks everybody for joining. See you tomorrow with another live stream or a video. And take care everybody. See you later. Alligators.
shout out to all of you. And uh, take care, everybody. Take care of the cat. Thanks, Insane, for being here. Thanks for checking the chat. And peace out. Adios, mouth breathers, says the uh, yes. Adios, amigos. Take care, guys. Peace out, everybody. And uh, take care, take care. Peace out. See you later, alligators. And see you tomorrow with another video or